no makeup like this is real vulnerable this is real i didn't even shower today like i'm gonna keep it all the way 100 though. hey beauties what's up and welcome back to my channel that is a true welcome back because it's really been a minute um whew, we're doing this okay we're doing this so i have a lot of things to say and the easiest way for me to do this is to just jump right into it. It's going to be a lot of vulnerability, a lot of openness for me. And I just hope that you guys follow it and understand it. So where have I been? I have been away from YouTube for a whole year. It's creeping up on two because we're almost at the end of 2022. I have been active like on Instagram, a little bit of TikTok as far as content creating. But I have really missed YouTube. I have um, been going through a lot. I have been growing and shifting in a lot of aspects of my life, but mainly right now what we're going to talk about is as a content creator. I will start out with the why of why I stopped doing YouTube and then I'll move into the reason why I wanted to do this video. The overarching main reason why I stopped is because I was bored. We're going to leave it right there. I was very uninspired by the content that I was creating. So it wasn't like I was bored with creating. I love creating, it's very therapeutic for me. It's very like, oh my God, like I did that. But as far as making long, long form content on YouTube, I was not inspired by what I was making because I felt like it had been done so many times and it wasn't different. Like what was different about it? You know, obviously I wasn't getting the engagement I was I wanted and that discouraged me, but just looking at the video even before I posted it, I was just like, this is just not, not it, you know? Before anybody says anything, I understand the whole bread aisle analogy of, um, you know, when you go into the bread aisle, you look at all, you see all the brands and, you know, basically everybody makes bread. So like the market can never be too oversaturated. There's always a place for everybody. And I get that. But for me, it was like the forms of content I was making, I felt like we're too overdone and it wasn't anything special sticking out. Like it wasn't, it wasn't anything like spectacular. And I was just like, I'm bored of this. I've seen this so many times and yeah, like YouTube is a great place to learn, but I'm rambling, but you get it. You get what I'm saying. My mind is like trying to get everything out. So that's, that's underlining why I stopped YouTube. Short form content, you know, Instagram reels, photo dumps, I guess now TikToks because I'm starting to understand TikTok and do TikTok more. It just became easier. The platforms were pushing out, but also people were engaging with more. That's what I mean by, you know, I kind of shifted in that aspect. Um, but I was also grew. I now have a brand manager and I, you know, am getting engagement like I never thought I would. Like, never, okay? Like, ever. Even though I'm not like where I would like to be or, you know, whatever, I'm okay with that because growth. So what I am here to talk about today, I said all of that. Basically wanted to give you guys a background of where I've been and why I stopped. I battled with depression, like hard. In 2016, I was diagnosed with clinical depression and mild anxiety, even though I feel like it's not very mild. That diagnosis kind of just was given and I never did anything about it. Never wanted to do antidepressants. I did therapy for like three sessions and I was like, yeah, this therapist was not for me, not like therapy was not for me, but like I never did anything to make sure my mental health got back on track. Let me take you back to the height of the pandemic, which is 2020, obviously, um, super depressed. In the house, not much to do, did catch COVID. You know, it was a lot. That was probably the lowest of the lows that I've had since like 2014. 2013 2014 kind of like shifting into college from high school that was really bad year two years for me but 2020 was a low 2021 kind of picked up a little bit you know like that's when i feel like everybody learned i feel like a lot of people started to learn things about themselves other people and the world as a whole and i went through that transition as well my mind wasn't really on depression i had like picked myself up obviously with the help of god with the help of the people that are closest to me and I understood things better and myself better and I took a look at myself and you know started to understand certain things one thing is that I had started to get closer to God and understand his wisdom and his guidance things like that his word understand now what people say when they hear God like I never really understood that so that was another piece of it basically I was I was on a on a growth on a high like it was like 
okay we're we're feeling good we're learning about ourselves we're we're learning about life we're we're pouring into god like this is great like we're and it's making us a better person because people were starting to see how depressed i was the people who've never said it to me never know like they've noticed it but they've never said it to me started to like obviously the people i care to hear their opinions closest to me started to see it on my face see it in my text see it in my body language see it on facetime it was like whoa that's when i had to pick myself up so now we're gonna come back to right now transitioning from 2021 to 2022 i've been on a, a high between instagram and tiktok you know i'm starting to get recognition but not like clout i don't care about clout it's more so like my content is doing what i want it to do which is resonating with people it's relatable and it's being seen for what it is and that's true creativity in the past i would say two months I've hit another low and it's hard. Like, ooh, don't cry, ooh. And in the past two weeks, oh, it's low. It's like low, low, low. Uh, um, because I was sent back to 2014 in the last two weeks. I looked in the mirror and I was like, these are the same feelings from 2014. Ooh, ooh, don't cry. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of it, at least right now. Like I have left social media as a whole. I haven't been on social media in two weeks. <laughs> like I have completely cut life out. Good thing about this time is the full circle moment. Because I look back at 2014 me and it's not the same me right now. So basically what I'm saying right now, good has come out of this like this what i'm feeling because it has inspired me to share in 2014 i ran from it and i hid myself and i slowly came out because i was in college i had to go to school i had people depending on me i had to go to work i had things to do so i came out of it but it wasn't my choice it was like i don't have a choice right now it's my choice and i'm coming out of it for the better so what does that mean i'm sharing it with you guys we're gonna we're gonna talk about it we're gonna do it all and i really hope that it resonates with somebody that is my goal to get myself out of it this time is to share it with you guys my goal is for it to hit somebody here your heart your heart's here <laughs> hit somebody here and have them resonate with it so all that being said my channel is shifting. I'm still going to bring to you my authentic, true, true content of like the true and true of what I started with. So the natural hair, the get ready with me's, the makeup, the fashion, the lifestyle, you know, everything that, you know, like Lee's world is about. Okay. I'm not changing anything about my content because I love what I make content about. It's literally something that I don't have to think about. I just do because it's within me. I'm still going to be doing that, but my focus of my channel is now going to be on my mental health journey. I don't want to bore you guys with, oh, I'm sad today. Oh, I'm happy today. Oh, I'm sad today. It's not going to be that. It's more so going to be, for example, you know, uh, sitting down, get ready with me and me talking about specific topics, you know, sharing my experiences, my mistakes, my lessons for somebody else to experience the same growth that I had. Like, that's just what I need to do. I need to unload my mind and my body and my spirit so that I can help somebody else. That's just what it is. Like, this is coming from a place of real vulnerability. I mean, y'all, like, look at my hair. Look at my fa I have on pimple patches, y'all. Like, <laughs> no makeup. Like, this is real vulnerable. This is real. I didn't even shower today. Like, I'm going to keep it all the way 100, y'all. Like, this is it's very vulnerable right now. It's very transparent right now because I had to say this today. I had to. She is back. She's back on YouTube. This is surviving your 20s on a mental health journey. That's what this is. I'm going to bring you how I'm sliding through these 20s and about to hit 30 and all the things that you'll go through. That's what this is. That's what the focus of this is. No one's talking about it, but I'm going to do it. So, I hope that you guys are excited about this. I hope that you guys continue to watch and grow with me some more on this journey. I'm just, I'm ready. Like I'm ex like in my body, I can already feel the ideas and the things I want to talk about. So I I'm very excited and I hope you guys are too. So I'm excited. That's all for now. So yeah, here we go.